Okay, so here I have written down the four main types of half-life problems. Uh, you can see A is how old is the sample. Maybe it's a fossil, whatever. Uh, B is how many half-lives have passed. C is what is the half-life. Okay, how long is the half-life? And D is how much of your parent element is remaining. That's the four types of problems right here. There's two ways that you could solve these problems. Um, this right here is our equation from our notes. Age equals the number of half-lifes times the half-life length. Okay, we've used that one often. And the other one here is to use the fraction of the parent element that's remaining. All right, now I'm going to list these things here uh, as to which one of these solutions you would need to use. Okay, so A, how old is something? You're going to need to use uh, this first one right here, A. Okay, it's looking for the age. You'll get the half-lifes and the half-life length in the problem. Uh, you need to use that equation. B, how many half-lives have passed? Okay, if you have the age and the half-life length, you can use this equation. Also, you can use the fraction of the parent element that's remaining in order to figure out uh, that answer as well. The next thing here is, what is the half-life length? Well, that's the only thing you can use for that one is this equation, so C problems are going to go and use that equation. And then the last thing is D, how much is remaining? Okay, how much is remaining after a certain amount of half-lives? You will need to use the fraction of the parent element that's left. Okay, so pause there if you want to take a look at that. If not, we're going to go to an A-type problem next. Alright, so here's our A-type problem. It says element B has a half-life of 385 years. If 1 16th of element B is remaining, how old is the sample? And you can see I've underlined the important variables here. Uh, the first step is going to be to figure out how many half-lives have passed. So I'll write number of half-lives. We need to figure that out. To figure that out, you need to use this fraction here. Okay, and look in your notes. Go to the table, figure out what 1 16th is. Your notes will tell you that that's four half-lives. Okay, or you could do it the other way that I said, is to multiply uh, 1 half however many times until you get 1 16th. So multiply the denominator 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 1 16th. Count up how many 1 halves we have, 1, 2, 3, Four, that's four half-lives. Okay. Uh, if you want to memorize the table, that'd be good. That'd be a quick way. If, you, if you're having trouble doing the math, memorize the table. Okay. Second step. Use our equation from class. The age equals the number of half-lives times the half-life length. Okay. We're going to take this number that we just got and plug that into the number of half-lives. So four half-lives have passed. We need the half-life length next. Take a look right here. The question says the half-life of element B is 385 years. So we multiply 4 times 385, and that comes out to 1,540 years old. I don't know if you can hear that noise or not. That's the janitor uh, running the floor washing machine. Okay, so that's our answer right here. Pause here if you want to review this problem. If not, we'll go on to a B-type problem. All right, there are two types of uh, B-type problems. How many half-lives are there uh, or have gone? This problem says a 11,460-year-old fossil has some carbon-14 in it. If the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years, how many half-lives have passed? Um, this is a one-step problem, okay, our B-type problem that we can use the equation from our book. So all you need to do is plug in the numbers you have to this equation here. Age equals the number of half-lives times the half-life length, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and plug those numbers in. The age, it tells us, the fossil is 11,460 years old. So we plug that number in right there. 11,460 years. Okay. 
It's asking us how many half-lives have passed, so we don't know what this variable right here is. Okay, so we're going to leave that as a variable, number of half-lives times, uh, it tells us the half-life length right here, 5,730 years, 5,730 years. All right, now all we got to do is a little bit of algebra, divide both sides by 5,000. 730. Okay. And the answer comes out to be, I'll write it over here because I'm running out of space a little bit. Turns out to be two half lives. Okay. Pause here if you'd like to review this problem. Otherwise, we'll go on to our second type of B problem. All right, here is our second type of B problem here where we're looking for how many half-lives have passed. The question says the fossil has 1 32nd of a radioactive element remaining, and it wants to know how many half-lives have passed. Good news is this is another one-step problem here. Um, if you have your table in your notes, all you need to do is look at this fraction here, 1 32nd. How many half-lives is 1 32nd? Well, your table will tell you right off the bat that it's five. Okay, but remember what I said. If you want to figure out how many uh, half-lives you have to do to get to one thirty-second, just remember you're dividing by two or multiplying by one half um, the same number of times. So you could just keep multiplying uh, by one half until you wind up with the fraction that you're looking for. So one half times a half is a fourth. One fourth times a half is one eighth. One eighth times a half is one sixteenth. And one sixteenth times a half is one thirty second. Okay, so we count this up one, two, three, four, five half lives. Okay, if you want to pause here to review this problem, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll move on to a type C problem. Okay, here is a C-type problem. These are going to be asking for how long is a half-life. Um, again, one-step problem here. Um, you just need to use your algebra. So uh, C-type problems, if you remember, we just gonna, we're just going to use that equation from class. Age equals the number of half-lifes times the half-life length. Okay, and look at what the question is asking. It says, how long is one half-life? So we're looking for the half-life length. It gives us the age. It's a 6,000-year-old fossil. So we plug 6,000 into here. It tells us it's undergone three half-life decays. So for number of half-lifes, go ahead and plug in three. And then we want to find this variable here, so we leave it as a variable, half-life length. Okay. Now to solve this, all we need to do is divide both sides by three, divide by three, and our half-life length comes out to be 2,000 years. Okay. Uh, pause here if you'd like to review this question. If not, we're going to move on to our last type, type D. All right, last but not least, we've got our uh, type D problem here. Uh, these are asking for how much of a certain element is remaining. Um, so this question says, a fossil started out with 150 grams, that 5 is a little sloppy, 150 grams of carbon-14. The fossil is 22,920 years old. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years, and it wants to know how much C14 is remaining. Uh, this is our difficult level problem. This is an upper level problem. Uh, you do have two steps here. Um, you're going to need to figure out how many half-lives have passed. Uh, you're going to need to figure out the fraction of that, uh, of the parent that's remaining, and then you're going to need to multiply the fraction by the um, uh, original mass. So it's technically a three-step three problem. First step, use your equation. Age equals number of half-lives times the half-life length. Okay. Uh, it tells us the age right here, 22,920 years old. 
Um, we, we don't know the number of half-lives. We need to figure this information out. So let's leave this as a variable. Right? And then it does tell us the half-life length as well. That goes in right here, 5,730 years. Sorry if that's a little sloppy. Um, <clears throat> all you need to do now is a little bit of algebra. Uh, divide that out. Divide both sides by 5,730. The number of half-lifes comes out to be, I picked this as a nice number, four half-lifes. That's step one. Step two, find the fraction. Okay, you've got four half-lifes and that's going to equal a certain fraction. Again, you can look at your table or you can multiply by one half. Your table will say uh, four half-lifes is going to be one sixteenth. Okay, or you could take four and do this. One half times one half times one half times one half four times and then you're going to get one sixteenth. Okay, let me erase that there. So it's out of our way for our third step. Okay, now that we have the fraction of the parent element that's left, how much carbon-14 is left. The third and final step is to figure out how much is going to be remaining. So to figure out how much is remaining, we got to take our original amount, 150 grams, multiply that by the fraction we just found right here in this step, 1 16th, okay? Uh, and I got to pause here for a sec. And that equals um, 9.38 grams. That's your final answer. That's how much carbon-14 is remaining after uh, 22,920 years or four half-lives. Okay? Um, that's the end of the video here. That's all four types of problems. Remember, this is our most difficult problem. There's going to be uh, maybe one like this on the test. The rest of them will be similar to our A, B, and C problems that are usually just one or two steps. All right, I hope this video helped. Let me know.